right, Caleb, what game are we playing today? Animal Upon Animal. And do you like Animal Upon Animal? Yes, I do. Why? Uh, because it's simple and it's just really fun to play. Yeah, and it looks like a good kids game. Yeah. Definitely. Well, what are you trying to do in Animal Upon Animal? You are trying to stack animals upon a crocodile and get rid of all your animals. Oh, so how do you win? If you don't have any animals in front of you, you win. So first person to get rid of their animals wins. Yeah. That sounds pretty straightforward. But you have to do it by stacking. Yeah. All right. Well, show me what you do on your turn. All right. So on your turn, you roll the dice. There is a one, a two, a hand, a crocodile, and a heart thought thingy with a question mark. Okay. And what do they all mean? Uh, a one means you stack one animal of your choosing on the crocodile. Nice. A two means you stack two animals of your choosing upon the crocodile. So if you roll a two, you're, do you're getting rid of your animals, animals quicker. Quickly. That's nice. Okay. If you roll a hand, you give the an you give the animal to someone else to stack. So they have to stack it, and chances are they may knock things over. Okay. Yeah. All right. If you knock things over, there's a punishment for that. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Okay. A crocodile means you'll stack one of your animals of your choosing, uh, touching the nose or the tail of the crocodile, or an animal touching those things. Okay. Uh, the, this means someone else chooses the animal that you have to stack. So they pick one of your remaining animals and say, stack this. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Could be tricky. Mm-hmm. All right, so if we're further along in the game and it gets knocked over, what happens? Then I put my thing on. Oh, nice. The balance. Okay. <laughs> they put their thing on. It stays balanced. <laughs> they put their thing on and it stays balanced. You're doing pretty well. Yep. Yeah. So if one falls off, what happens? I take it back. And it goes on to the next player. Yeah. Okay. I put it on it. <laughs> Let's pretend I actually put it on. Oh, now if I, more than one falls off, what happens? They take two, and the, they take two of their choosing, so they would like take those two. And then these two are out of the game. So if you knock down more than one, you got to take a couple animals back. Yeah. Thus making it harder to get rid of all your animals. Mm-hmm. Okay, whew. That looks like a pretty good stack you got going there. Yep. And I know you love to stack, that's why it may take me a minute to get some answers from you. Yep. <laughs> How do you win the game? If all your animals are gone. Then you win the game. So you only have that uh, Pelican the thing. toucan left. Yep. Nice. Alright, well, who do you think animal upon animal is best suited for? I would say for younger kids that know balance yeah. <laughs> and how to simple balance things. Yeah, but is it good for adults too? Yeah. You and I can get some challenges going on pretty well? Yes. Fantastic. Well, with that, what would you rate animal upon animal? I would rate it a 4.36. 4.36, that's pretty specific. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, I'll let you get back to stacking. All right. Thanks, Caleb. Bye.